Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a little bean me podcast channel. My name is Kayleen and today I'm going to be showing you how to cut in an afterthought heel on some socks. So the materials you'll need are your pair of scissors, your needles, and of course your socks. So here I am checking which side I'd like to cut my heel into. And I think I'll do this side. So I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to count down how many rows I need from the toe to where I'd like to place my heel. And then I start picking up stitches. So I pick up the right leg of each stitch on the back side of my sock. So these are 60 stitch socks. So I am picking up 30 stitches across. So this is the right leg of every stitch across. One, two, three and to the end. So there are 30 stitches here. Um, I always make sure to double check my stitch count, so I'll just go back and count down to make sure. And then I will pick up the row after. So I skip a row, which is the row that I will be cutting, and then I pick up the next row of stitches. So this one skipped and then I start picking up these stitches. Again, the right leg of every single stitch across the back part of my sock. So here you can see the stitches and the skipped row. I pick up all the way to the end and again for this sock there will be 30 stitches. So I always double count to make sure and here they are. So it's really clear to see where you've picked up and the row that you've skipped. So here it is again. And so now I'm setting up for two at a time socks here. So what I'm going to do is slip my sock down on my needle, straighten out my needle so that I'm picking up the same um, row with the same needle. So my both my socks are facing the same way. So I'm taking the top needle, counting down to where I'd like to start my heel picking up the right leg of each stitch across my sock. So the same way I did for the first sock, using the same needle for this first row, all the way to the end of the row. So right leg of every stitch, double count my stitches, then I skip a row, and then I will pick up the right leg of each stitch across the following row. So I skip the row I will cut, and then I pick up the legs of each stitch on the bottom half all the way to the end of the row and so now we are ready to cut so I'm going to put my socks down onto the um, cable here so that I have a little more flexibility and I'm just making sure they look even that the row is even across both socks that they measure the same and now we're going to cut so I'm going to find the center stitch or somewhere close to the center stitch. Um, and But first I'm going to check inside the sock to make sure I didn't pick up any of the back stitches on the other side. Um, I'm going to pull up the center stitch and then with my handy dandy scissors we're going to cut. Ouch, Ooh, ouch, every time. Um, it gets a little less scary the more you do it. So I'm picking out the stitches all the way to the end of the row, but I'm leaving the last two stitches intact so that I do not have a gap for the corners of my heel. So I'm going all the way to the end and leaving these last two stitches intact. So you can see them picked up on both needles and the row in between is left. So I'll tuck my end in and then I'm going to repeat the same thing for the other side, picking out each stitch individually and leaving the last two stitches. This is so much more controlled than I feel you anticipate. Uh, for me as a crocheter, I anticipated this to be very chaotic and all the stitches were going to drop off. But as long as you're picking up every stitch of your row, there really is nothing to be afraid of. So here for my second sock, I'm doing the same thing. Taking my scissors, snip snip, and cutting the center stitch. Ooh, painful, painful. Okay, so here we go, one at a time, picking them out until I get to the end of the row. And again, I'm leaving here the last two stitches of the row intact to avoid a gap, or prevent a gap, should I say. 
So there they are, the two stitches on the top and the bottom, and then the middle um, is left unpicked. So I will tuck the end in on this side as well, just like my other side. And now I have two socks that are ready to go here for two at a time socks. Now our socks are ready to go into start position for two at a time socks, and they're both on the same side, so the toes are facing the same way. Um, this was very easy to do, just the small amount of tools needed to cut the heel. I think that it's a little bit easier than worrying about putting in a lifeline for your knitting. I enjoy um, the ability to change my mind of where I'm going to put the heel in at the end. So if I decided I want these socks to be for myself or someone with smaller or larger feet, I'm not put, in, put off by the um, lifeline. So if you liked this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!